it's not what my channel's about. Well, it's my channel, I can do what I want. And plus, everybody likes a good dose of nostalgia, even if it's terrifying. Oh, we're rolling. What's up, everybody? Halloween Candy here. I've got another interesting and strange topic for you guys today. Um, uh, last time I reviewed some toys that were pretty creepy and bizarre in a couple ways. So, yeah, I've always liked um, finding weird things with things for children. So uh, why not talk about some bizarre children's shows? So basically, I'm going to be talking about some really freaky and bizarre children's shows that probably would scare me more than most horror movies. Now, we'll not be including things like Goosebumps and Haunting Hour or Are You Afraid of the Dark because those are technically meant to be um, scary shows like children's horror. And uh, it's not what we're talking about today. All right, the first show I would like to talk about is Nickelodeon's Mr. Meaty. Okay, so my question is, who at Nickelodeon thought that these puppet designs were okay? Don't get me wrong, I love me some puppets, but something just doesn't feel right about this show. I'll admit, I never really watched it as a kid because, uh, just, I, I never caught it. But I would see it around a lot on the internet, and even older me just is very unsettled. One episode I can remember, though, seeing a couple years back, was this episode where they, oh my gosh, you know what, I don't know if I can talk about this without triggering some folks because of how sick it is. Um, skip to this time stamp right here and then we'll move on. Um, there's an episode where, um, I've just seen clips of it, where they get a hold of a tapeworm, the two main characters get a hold of a tapeworm and it goes down one of their throats and they have to try and fish it out and then someone else catches it and then they just let it go in, in its body. Oh. I've handled these little beauties before. Come on, sweetheart. Okay, come on. Here we go. Come on in. Ah! Oh. That's the stuff. No, that, that that's repulsive, even for me. Plus, what, why did he even do that? I, I didn't see the full episode. I could only see clips, but why did he do that? That's a death wish. So Mr. Meaty started off as a um, a series of shorts on Nickelodeon and then later got picked up to a series which actually lasted two seasons, which I'm kind of surprised, um, two seasons, that this would definitely um, scare a lot of folks, <laughs> even me. I hate this show or anything, not at all. It's really, I mean, it's, 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 it's bizarre, it's weird. I, I mean, I, it has some charm for if it was meant, if it's meant to be a horror thing. I don't, I don't actually know if it's meant to be a horror thing, which is why it's here in this video, but, uh... Like, but, like, it's calling it a kid's show just feels terribly wrong. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm gonna move on to something a little more, um, a little less, a, a lot less gruesome, but just strange in another way, but I, I love it! Um, this is In the Night Garden, which was a, um, BBC, um, show, children's show that ran for about two seasons and began in uh in 2007 i'm reading this off of a wikipedia article now despite the fact that i was grew up in the u.s i did watch the show because it did air on the hub and i loved it. it has a very strange cast of characters like uh the tumbly boos uh maca paca who has an obsession with washing things from what i can remember um my girl upsy daisy I love you, Epsy Daisy. You're so cool. And of course, also the icon himself, Eagle Piggle, who had an awesome dance, by the way. <laughs> yes, my name is Eagle Piggle. Eagle Piggle, Eagle Nickle Diggle. Yes, my name is Eagle Piggle. Eagle Piggle, Nickle Diggle. A whole cast of other things like like the, the the this is the train and it's called the ninky nonk yeah i, I want to ride the ninky nonk it looks like so much fun who wants to come with me it is said that um this show takes place in um in a magical picture book place that exists between waking and sleeping in a child's imagination according to the official website of the show and pretty neat idea actually i mean it does look like something i would see in my good dreams Okay, I feel like I can't get through this video without mentioning Popey the Performer. 
Now you're probably all thinking like, but if you're not including Goosebumps, why are you including Poppy the Performer? Technically it is a horror. Well, I don't think it's ever been specified whether it's a horror show or not. It is for children, though I'm pretty sure what I've heard, the creator what wasn't expecting just to make a show for children. Um, th this is just based on what I heard while doing research. Um, he just made the show and they were Japan, the peop the Japanese um, children's um, channel, please. I, I don't know what it's called. I'm so sorry. Um, we're all like, oh, yeah, sure, we'll take it. If, if they have the five minute slot, we'll take it. Now, of course, I don't know if you can tell already, my makeup look is inspired by this nightmare fuel face that um, Popey would make in some episodes. So, okay, um, I, might, I might be getting off track here. I'm pretty sure some of my audience will know the show. I love it. But um, to, to explain to the folks that do not know the show, um, it is a children's anime, a 3D animated children's anime that ran from 1990... 1999 to 2001 so basically this show is about a clown with um who uh is who has a lot of violent tendencies and he's he's a circus performer he likes to perform and his assistant or his i don't know mentor something uh kitamono love kitamono um is the one who constantly has to suffer through all of um Popey's tricks and uh and things, um, things always go wrong by the end of the episode. And, like, they've all died, like, so many times. And then, all of a sudden, the show just starts right over, right at the next episode. And, th and there's even, Poppy's dad even gets introduced in the, um, second season. And he he's so funny. I love him. I love him a lot. <laughs> for a kid's show, e even for a show, this is chaotic. It's gruesome. It's, it's violent. And, and, and no, no characters say a word. Like, they're all silent. Well, except for the frog in the last episode. Okay, um, that was really fun. Um, that long um, rant about how much I love Bobby the Performer. And I felt like it was worth a mention. Even if, although even if I maybe broke a rule on my um video. But I just, I just couldn't help it. I love it. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to something that did, does actually disturb me a little bit. This is Pub's Program. This is another Brit strange British show that used puppets and stuff. Now, apparently this weird goblin-looking thing with, with a very, really interesting, um, interesting design. <laughs> this thing apparently says that it lives inside your TV. Something just feels so wrong about that. Like, when I was a kid, I used to be really scared of my television because I would think something would pop out of it. And thank God I didn't know what this was when I was young because that would have made it even worse. Like, just imagine, like, all of a sudden he would just, he would just pop right out on your TV and, oh, no, 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 I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. And also, he, uh, in the intro, he spits. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's actually supposed to be breathing, but that, that sounds like spitting. That is spitting, and it's gross. Seriously, dude, I, I literally, I just cleaned my television. You did not have to spit on it like that. Okay, so I'm getting to the territory where things will really, really get messed up, in my opinion. As if the last one didn't make me feel unsettled. Um, I'm now going to talk about Peppermint Park. So Peppermint Park was a um, an American straight-to-video, um, not, not airing anywhere, just straight-to-video um, puppet show that only ran for a year because it flopped. I mean, I can see why it flopped. Look at those ugly faces! And why does a pig have hands? Like, I knew something was terribly off about that guy when I saw him, but he has hands! I don't like it! No! No! You, you, whoever created this needs to get out more. Get out and see some farm animals. Not to mention the, the really bad acting and the, the, the voices, just the voice quality, just making my ears want to bleed.
Hi gang, it's me, Ernie. Today on Peppermint Park, we're introducing the letter M. It's such a great letter. That really doesn't help the fact that these puppets look like they came straight out of a horror movie, but like almost worse than some horror movies. See, if I knew any children, like if I was babysitting them, if I was their auntie, I would so much rather show them killer clowns from outer space than this monstrosity. I'm not saying I would do that. Uh, that, that might not really be a very good idea, but I'm just saying that's just how bad they look. All right, now we're gonna get to another one that there's really only one particular character that makes this show messed up for me. Um, this is another BBC uh, show, um, Jigsaw. Now, this is a show, it's, it's, it was kind of like a game show. I, I didn't really watch a full episode. I was just digging around for clips and reading Wikipedia articles. But um, this was a show there where people solve puzzles and stuff. And I, I like that idea. I love, I love to solve puzzles. I love to solve problems. But, I mean, if you've researched um, creepy children's shows like I have, you probably know what's coming and who I'm going to mention. That's right, it is the infamous Mr. Nosy Bonk. That, that, that's some creepypasta material. Also, they did make, people did make creepypastas of this guy. So, uh, I, I'm far from alone in thinking that. Yeah, and, uh, seriously though, who, who thought that this design was okay for ages four to seven? Like, I like the idea that he's like a mime and he doesn't, um, doesn't speak. He just pantomimes. Um, I mean, him not speaking is a little unsettling, but I love the art of pantomiming and stuff. But it, it, there's a very repetitive tune that keeps coming. Like it, it doesn't change at all. It's just like the same exact thing. It doesn't really bother me much, but it does bother some folks. And just that big smile and dead eyes and really, really long nose just ma makes it all really, really, really strange for, for me and many children. Have any of y'all ever seen that clip where um, he's uh, he goes in a greenhouse and he plants some seeds and then waters them and all of a sudden the plants grow into really long noses? Here's Nosy Bonk pottering around and planting a clue to the whole word. Why? What well, is he growing more nosy bonks or does he just like nose plants? I don't know. Somebody help me. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, this is just what I think, but I think I saved the worst for last. You ready? Are you ready? And now to today's story, starring me and not starring Nanette Memoir. Ah, uh, no, get it away from me. Get that thing away from me. No, no. That's right, guys. I'm talking about the infamous Angela Anaconda. Mm-mm. No, no, no. I, I don't like it. This is supposed to be one of the most ugly cartoons I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, it's all, it's all, like, it's very shoddy. It's very, um, like, not, not smooth at all. I mean, I, I see what the intention was, but it just feels like it's been executed all wrong. I couldn't even watch a full episode just by how annoying these characters were. Like, e e Angela herself, her voice. I I'm sorry, no offense to the voice actor, I respect voice actors, but it it's, it's so annoying, I'm sorry. And don't even get me started on that theme tune, that theme tune. It's Angela, hey hello, welcome to my very own show, I'll introduce make my friends Make it stop, make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. So this show actually ran from 1999 to 2002, so that's like three years, and I gotta say, how? How did it do that? Everybody I've ever met that knows the show thinks it's absolutely terrifying. Now I don't think I'll be sleeping tonight thanks to this video, but I put myself through torture just for some fun videos. 
So thank you all for watching this really strange video. Um, I did have a lot of fun making it, um, even though that I might have some nightmares tonight, but um, it was a lot of fun to make. And uh, maybe I'll do a part two if you feel like I missed any. And I, uh, yep, that's it for today. And I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye. Come on, Spirit Halloween. It, 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 it's, a, it's a guy, a seven foot tall guy in a big old weird mind mask with a very, very long nose. It could scare people. It could be pretty terrifying. Come on. It's a good idea, right?